Towards the end of the campaign, when, we, when I, I felt like we were probably surging, because he started listening to advice, he asked Josh, what are we going to do if we win? Stranger things have happened. Among those that they are casting votes for, the next governor of Oklahoma. Hi, Joe. What happened tonight? What happened tonight? <laughs> we fucking lost. <laughs> And you do everything against the odds. I do, I do. I'm going to jump off this fucking roof here in a minute. <laughs> Don't say that. We're worried about that. But it's been a great run against you. You've done a tremendous job, and I'm just glad that we're all friends. Great fun. How many death threats did you get? A couple. Okay, so that's a sign of a successful campaign. Trust me. No, I didn't do that. Yeah. His governor campaign. I think that's no, where he kind of lost so his path as bit. far as what was the priority. It wasn't about the animals anymore. Everything was falling apart from finances to animal care to employees. The passion was there, but he lost it. I don't know where and how he lost it, but he lost it. always read Joe. Yeah. He didn't have a poker face. We knew um, something was going on. Mm -hmm. You know, he was already a paranoid person, throwing people out, accusing them of being spies and stuff. But the paranoia was not unfounded. We found the microphone and antenna on top of the gift shop roof. It was about that tall, you know, a little metallic base with a short antenna. I don't pretend to be a technical wizard, mm -hmm. but I could tell it was a listening device. That's when I knew that there was something serious going on. She told me, she says, I hear Joe's under some kind of federal investigation. And... And I said, what did you hear? And she says, I don't know. She says, they were just talking about it here one morning. And that was... Okay. I got it. Okay. Okay, okay. 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 right? Okay, right? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. So we just interviewed Jeff Lowe. And the entire time, he had incoming calls from the federal agents over and over. I think who... Who the hell still talks to Joe? They would even... He told me that Joe's going down. Joe's, it's over for Joe. Oh my God, I can't believe. I mean, it was sort of funny when we started, but it got really dark. Sebastian, 
Nu har du rejst op med at drille. Lauren and I leased a big home in Las Vegas. We had tigers in our house. And it got me in trouble. Animal control. Stormed the place like we were El Chapo. Because I had two baby cats up there. The animals weren't all that was taken. Marshals impounded multiple semi-automatic handguns and rifles. You know what? I hit him to the bad A very strong warrant. He is a predator. Right. When Jeff Lowe came back from getting in trouble in Vegas is when all hell broke loose. Ever since then, it's been a Jeff Lowe world, and that's when it all went to hell. Jeff Lowe. I'm adjudicating you guilty. And I'm ordering that you surrender any animals that were confiscated. You will stay out of trouble. That means no illegal activity. If you do that, at the end of the year, I will vacate the drug. If not, we will serve 179 days. Do you understand my words? came back from Las Vegas, Joe was locking me out of the mm -hmm. online bank accounts. Well, so, so, so we snuck back and went to the bank. I wanted 12 months worth of bank statements because he wasn't providing any bank statements. I went up to my cashier. She goes, Joe, okay, I'll be honest. I said, yeah, why? She goes, hmm. She goes, I'm thinking that Joe was being investigated by somebody. And I looked at Lauren and I said, by who? She goes, there was a federal warrant. And I said, really, can you tell me where that? She goes, that's all I know. She goes, I don't know anymore. So the feds were watching him. You're going to get me in fucking trouble, Joe. And I came here to save your ass. How, how you forged my name 20 fucking times on cash checks. Just in that 12 months, while he was running for the governor of Oklahoma, we found... I think 88,000 some dollars in misappropriated spending. You can do whatever the fuck you want without even asking me, and it's wrong. Well, you are a shitty fucking partner. So I can spend some of my money. I don't give a flying fuck. You lost that when you fucked with Carol Baskin. That's not my fault. It's your fault. You can't funnel and embezzle money. I came here to bail your ass out. You would be fucking who knows where without me. And you even said it before I went to Las Vegas. You're not gonna fuck me, you're not gonna put me in trouble, and then treat me like shit, asshole. He had spent $60,000 in campaign brochures and printing and signs and t-shirts and condoms with his picture on it. It says campaign, paid by the park. That's illegal. And it's my ass. They already told me you're being investigated for something else, but they wouldn't tell me what it is. And when shit hits the fan, I don't need another felony. Let's take it off. Like, I, I'll move. Move! Then do it. And I'll run this park the right way. Jeff Lowe is getting downright ugly. Right there in front of everybody else. Right before Joe got kicked off the park, he took and burned all of the records because he didn't want us to be able to prove the embezzlement. Shit, I think he burned laptops. I think he burned transfer papers. I'm sure Joe knew more than what he was telling me. I didn't have a clue where he was going, what he was going to do. He comes in the office distraught, tears in his eyes. Never seen this except for when Travis killed himself. Wipe all the computers, get out of here. He said, I don't know what's about to happen, but Jeff Lowe's no, taking the part from you. So Sebastian. The last two days, you could tell he was fixing to leave. He was fixing to bolt. And he was trying to gather up anything he could get a hold of to sell. He really, really got paranoid like a little birdie and told him something's wrong. Joe had a truck come in here so he could pick up animals in the middle of the night. He shipped all them money cats out because they were all worth three or four thousand dollars a piece. And he shipped out quite a few. When 
transported a bunch of different animals. I took two baby tigers to California. There was $5,000 exchanged in Branson, Missouri. We thought we were helping Joe out. I mean, we didn't know everything going on. We thought Jeff literally was taking everything away from him. day that Joe was allowed on the park. Yeah. I told Joe, if you come on this property again, I'll shoot you in the head. You know, he's threatening to kill me. If I come back on the park, he's going to kill me. Damn right. I will kill him. Whatever Jeff Lowe told him scared the living hell out of him. Joe was gone. Just gone. He won't tell anybody where he's at, not even me. And that's probably the last time I will ever see Joe Exotic. Some things that I'd rather just be left unsaid. Some mistakes were made, and some attitudes got out of hand. And rather than argue or be accused of stuff, I just decided to walk away. The catch is my responsibility, no matter who owns that suit. Just I'm the one who bred him. So I feel obligated that I need to make sure that he's safe and secure. And who's the winner in this? Is it Carol? Nobody. Is it Peter? Is it Jeff? In, in the long run, it's going to be damn rights people are going to be the winners in this because they're going to end up with the property because nobody can afford the lawyer bills. And what about Carol? I still think that she deserves to sit in jail for killing her husband. But I truly believe in karma. And a few people got some karma coming. Thank you. 